Oh, time to to hear some reports of your images of your group uh, mirroring and what you want to comment and ask to share a lot. So in the in the break time, I was uh, <coughs> already asked a question. If my part of with, if the mirroring um, somehow is irritating me or is giving me information that I don't know how to make use of it, of it, what do I do then? You forget it, <laughs> because I, my firm belief is, uh, if somebody something is important to your soul you cannot forget it. And so you, uh, and it's an offer, nothing more. And usually if somebody gives you a feedback or is mirroring, uh, he's at least saying 50% something about himself, not about you. And that's okay. As long as you don't have to discuss or as long, you, as, long as you don't have to um, have uh, draw consequences, you are open because this is a procedure to create uh, ideas and to enrich symbolically situations. It's not a procedure to come to clarity or conclusions. It might happen, but it's not the purpose. You remember the situation from which we started. This is a situation where you might somehow wonder what your relationship is to. And you don't, with your usual ways to think about, you do not come to an understanding. And this is a different way to try to understand and it should not con uh, conclude very early to something that is finished. And very often when we do this uh, in the context of seminars, we are interested in how the dreams are reacting to this kind of uh, exercise. Because very often the dreams play more of it. And you can see whether there's something different than before in the dream, something is changing. Some, uh, the dreams give you ideas uh, how to focus on. But this is only for those who are interested in dream work. You don't have to do that. So, reports, questions? The sharing should be about our team or individually? It should be an individual report or about uh, them as a group? How should I report now? No, I didn't understand. What, what? No, you are asking a report of what happened. Yeah. Should I be saying only what uh, I felt or I had or there is also? Uh, what you want, what, it's up to you. <coughs> what is interesting you more to share or to ask? Um, actually, the exercise which you gave, unless you are uh, used to it, you will definitely go into a trance and automatically you go into uh, a little bit of sleep also, which uh, have been felt by many people. Because and uh, she also did that, but it is. <laughs> I admit it. And she admitted. She, and the thing about this thing is, she, she cannot be very guilty about it because she has just inherited her alcohol. Which is uh, very good. The next state of uh, your awareness will be awake. Consciously, consciously stay awake, not asleep. <laughs> and when I was thinking of the past, I could just visualize only flowers. Just flowers, a lot of flowers. And the present, when I was thinking about myself, it was just Tom and Jerry cartoon that came, I don't know why. Uh, that uh, scene was always there. And in the future, when I was. Uh, yeah, it was the. Yes, the organization. Yeah, Kasi was my place. 
So when I was thinking of future for myself, it was Kasi and the mountain with that golden tip, that top. That uh, I don't know the place, but I have seen it somewhere in the WhatsApp picture. Th that only came to my mind. Uh, are, are you in the frames about yourself or in the frames about, about the organization, about, about yourself? Myself. The first one is Kas for the past and Tom and Jury for the present and for the future, Kasi and Mountain Terror. And as when the organization is concerned, uh, I just thought of the first school. I was just 18 years when I started my career. That school, it is actually not a very big one. It's just a very old building. That building came to my mind. And present, I saw big abacus. That, then I related that abacus with the global school of ours. And the next one is, the future is, um, is, a, is as I said, a, a crowd of people is just coming out of the cinema theater and it's a very big crowd. But I could also see a platform where I'm trying to climb the steps of that. That was the one thing which came repeatedly. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, no, yeah, don't applaud. <laughs> we don't have to worry that way, but we applaud for applauding, for sharing. Uh, and so, does this uh, elicit any reactions within you? Any understanding how how your relation to this organization was, is, and will develop? Yes, I have. Maybe when I was uh, when it came, I didn't have any thoughts related to that. But afterwards, when I was narrating this to my fellow people, I just understood because in the past means I went to the last the career when I started. And the abacus is, I've always wanted to be in that school. Although I'm in a very different school, but I just always like to be there. So maybe that abacus part of it came there. And the stage in the crowd in the future, I'm not able to predict anything regarding that. Um, the About my own self, Class, maybe um, because I'm uh, uh, Mother Mira's uh, devotee, so that's why Flas came for me in the past. And Tom and Jerry, still, I was telling her, I don't know why the Tom and Jerry is in the present scenario. And uh, the Kasi, a future, maybe in my mind, my mother's last wish was to go to Kasi, but uh, she was not able to finish. Uh, I mean, her wish uh, was always unfulfilled. So maybe that is in my mind, and uh, maybe I'm trying to go to Kasi. But I don't like Kasi, basically. But I feel it's very dirty and all that. Uh, but uh, uh, persistently, that image was in I don't know why. OK. I didn't understand enough to comment it, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but uh, intuitively, it sounds like um, you are seeking for greatness. And uh, somehow, in contact with this organization, you are on. Th it, it works together somehow. This is the only thing that comes to my mind when only having understood 30% of what you said. Other questions, comments, sharing? We need the microphone back. Thank you. You don't have to. If it's if it's finished, it's okay too. I only wanted to give the opportunity. How did you find the, the experience? Introspection. 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 Yeah, do, do you have the feeling this is telling, could tell you something? Of course. Both hmm. my target, my aim, mm -hmm. myself, my future. It's, it's working. Sir, I just gone back to my. Can you close? Yeah. It's like my uh, very young age, my mother had expired. So when I was six, I went yeah. back to the olden days and I've been just remembering. 
And when it comes to my professional career, I worked in abroad. So that was in my mind where I got a lot of rewards, awards. And uh, present also the organization, I was just, it was happy and I foresee myself as an entrepreneur. You are forcing yourself. Yes, always that was my aspiration and when I close my eyes, I see that myself as a uh, businessman and uh, I was running a big uh, industry. Mm -hmm. That was also always my aspiration from my young age. Mm -hmm. So that was striking my mind mm -hmm. when I see the future. Mm -hmm. And you feel comfortable with that? I feel happy and very much comfortable. Okay. Bless you. <laughs> So, how is the reaction of uh, to my question? Are you irritated? Don't know what to do with that exercise, or is it's a bit confusing? It's confusing. Yeah. yeah. This is probably uh, something. Uh, it was interesting in the group that we were sitting. All three of us pretty much had mountainous images when we were or regarding our future. One of us was. Uh, was born from kind of a cape, looking all into the sea, but like a tall cliff. And the other two of us were like all about mountains and like walking in mountains or something related to that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I found that quite amusing how the three of us gravitated together. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how did you make them? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we, we just leave it. I said we don't have, do not have to come to a result. Maybe it's inspiring you and maybe tomorrow morning the one or the other reaction is still coming. Uh, then I could go on just with this theater metaphor. Tell you something about this only 15 minutes or so. And then we are closing up for the day. When they can use this exercise, no, when they can use this imagery, is at what context? When uh, is there something, an idea from you, help? Yes, yeah, so, so the focus of uh, the exercise is if you want to check whether there is a matching development between your development and the development of an organization you are working for. For example, if uh, actually you are doing, you are quite satisfied with working in an organization, but from time to time you feel somehow shallow and you don't know why. You do not like to go to that work as you did before. On a superficial level, everything is okay. And then when you go to this level, you might, for example, have pictures about yourself. When you were young, you loved to do a lot of sports within uh, um, groups, and it was wonderful. And actually, uh, the picture for your actual, actual sport activity is more running with only two or three together, people you are familiar to. And your picture about the future is more doing something for your own and more meditative. And at the same time, when you have pictures about the organization you are working for, when the, orga the organization in the past <coughs> must have been quite vivid, and in the present it's a bit more turbulent, and the picture for the organization in the future is, is very big, very unpersonal, and very hectic. Then you can see from the comparison of the relations of these pictures that probably the matching between your style and what makes you happy in life and what is the direction to which the culture and the science of this organization will develop will split more and more, and this might be the reason why you sometimes do not feel as uh, fitting as you did ever. And then you get this clearer to you, and then you can think about the consequences. So 
So it, it means that everything is fine, but you somewhere feel not connected with the organization. Right. Or not feeling uh, not okay about doing some role or something. So what is that missing link? Yeah. Maybe to trigger that. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, as the other exercise that relates you to um, to the images about professional development in life and what is essential, what are essential qualities of situations you are searching for. Uh, you can use exercise like this to dialogue with your own development in the background that is not explained by skills and competencies and all these things, but by the development of the mentality of your soul and then you get ideas what the qualities are you should take care of and whether these qualities uh, can be uh, brought on stage within that procession in future or whether they can be brought on stage in this organization or if not can you change it within the framework you already have or do you have to change the framework and this gives you hints about qualities and what your soul wants to have. Okay. Because as I was hearing, I was uh, getting, but I don't know, I want to check with you, that's the reason I asked. Um, one, we are relating to the organization. Is this can also be connected with, let's say I'm playing the role of a mother or a father. Uh, what does it mean in the past, present and future? Yes. And uh, uh, in vice versa. And then that also gives a meaning to that role. Yeah, um, I only focus now on professional world and on organizational worlds. So you certainly can use this kind of method also for private worlds. What does it mean to grow old? Uh, what is the past, the present and the future of understanding relationships? How do I, under I understand myself? in developing in relationship and how see, do I see partners, how they developing. And is the matching getting better or is the matching fading so that you understand it? You can do it uh, uh, in respect to many focuses. I only reduced it now to a professional and organizational world. Uh, I was, uh, there's one more intention uh, which I thought I would share. Uh, we have another 15 minutes. So, instead of you introducing a concept... No, I, uh, yeah, when we have only 10 minutes, I can do it tomorrow. Do I you, do you? maybe if they can share some reactions. Yeah, come here and you... you well, they can tell it to you. What, how would they experience today? And okay, so that's, uh, that's wonderful. That is, so, that, that is a consolidation and then we... This was my thinking. Yeah? Is that... Yeah. yeah. imaginary process, images, basically I'm an auditory person. So basically my channel of visual is very less, images yes. are less. So for me I was not able to get any images or any... Uh, you were lost? Yeah. yeah I what you, what did you do during the time? You? I felt asleep. And you I felt, felt asleep. Up. And I could not hear any voices except some people walking. That's, that's the voice which I heard when the process was on. So okay. I was wondering how would it help for people who have a preferred channel which is more auditory, not visual. So I'm talking in terms of NLP if you look at it. So how would, how would I, how would this imaginary, if it is not there, what would I focus on? Uh, I invited you not only be uh, visual, uh, you also, I said it can also be a sentence, can be a sound, uh, but yeah, maybe maybe you didn't uh, adopt that. Um, 
See, I, I'm not so sure whether I would share your impression about your experience, if I could have been with you. Um, but because afterwards your memory of what happens is a narrative. But certainly I respect the way you, you put your narrative. Um, may, sometimes uh, you seem to be familiar with NLP and did guided imagery and things like that more often and you do it also. Your visual, visual channel doesn't... Uh, yeah, it's, it's very quick. I've been a, a sports person, it is very quick, so I just... The frames are very, very... I have to be but, but, but there was was, but very quick. It was very quick, yeah. It goes off pitch. Okay, so this is a situation, if I have a chance to work directly, personally with you, I would ask you about your style. Okay. So, as I hear now, it was not nothing, but you have a, a different rhythm yes. with it. And certainly, if uh, maybe this can mean two things, at least two things. Uh, one is the, the, the style in which I conduct it is too slow for you then we could think about how we can make it different. Or the other thing is, um, and, and it might be enough for you to have the flashlights. Then why not sleeping the rest? <laughs> 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 or these flashlights might be not enough for you. Then we could think about how can you make a bit of lo longer film of it and reach it. I don't know which is the case, but usually it's not meaningless how you experience. As a, and when you experience with NLP, you know about that. And I have a spe specific focus I'm uh, quite um, known for. I call this reality style analysis. So I'm not focusing on what you experience. I'm focusing on how you experience, how you create your experience. And in the way to create experience, you can have very limited way, ways. Then we can think about how to enlarge it. Or you can have very unique ways that are wonderful. Then we can more learn about how to respect that and how to communicate that to us so that you can do something together. So the focus is very different than the analysis of the content of the pictures. Uh, just one small question. Uh, what are the images that come to our mind in these sessions? Uh, without the help of therapists like you or Mr. Geetan, uh, uh, would we be able to you know, interpret the dreams, I mean, images correctly? See, because our ability to interpret the images, you know, if I see a waterfall, I might come to the conclusion that waterfalls means X, Y, Z to me. But he could come to a different conclusion. She could have seen a waterfall, but that could mean something else to her. So yes. you are right, because you might actually come up, come back with a completely different perspective. Like you said about yes. you know, uh, people playing together at the younger right. age. What it means is there is an entrepreneurial spirit in that person. Yeah. So that was a very good thing. But I'm sure, sure whether, uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to interpret. So, this should happen with the help of the therapist or... No, you don't need a psychotherapist. That's what I've written my book about. Because the psychotherapist only has one more opinion. <laughs> Nothing else. And... And... Um, it's not the question which interpretation is right. Uh, the goal of such kind of exchange is more tuning into each other's intuition approach to reality. And this is why I say don't discuss what it means. Share what it means so you uh, activate uh, your own unconscious expression and others understand something. They also misunderstand something, but they react. And in your reaction to this reaction, the communication flow on that level starts. And this is the main result, not the correctness of an interpretation. I ex uh, explicitly invite not to interpret. And professionals just have an additional uh, opinion to that. And if you have three professionals, you have five opinions. <laughs> Thank you.
is there any research studies there which correlates about the success or reality of this guided imagery to the real life? Is there any research has been done on this kind of thing? Uh, because it seems it gives some messages, but uh, the, the future which makes me curious to know about whether that would be the prediction. It, such as the research wouldn't make any sense. Because what is real life? Life is a story. Everybody tells his story in a different way. And it's not about uh, saying something about real life, it's about being aware of my stories and how other people react intuitively to my stories. Because they react to me on the basis, on their intuitive understanding of my stories, whether they want to do it or know it or not. So we understand by this much more how we create a story together. And then I can learn to understand why some, a lot of things happen, not because they are objectively right in some way, but because there is a narrative and a, a, a community myth um, arising, and this makes culture. And we sometimes do not understand how this happens, and then we do not have levels to intervene and try to change it. So it's not a question of objectivity. So Giesen's, um, now we come to the discussion on the, on the, on the yeah, like, another five minutes. yeah, but, you can give a response on how did the experience today, and then maybe 4.30 we get close, and we meet tomorrow. But these are so the right questions I wanted to have as a discussion. I want you to understand that the, the benefit of this is not the content interpretation. This might be sometimes very striking and flashing. But the more important outcome of it is that we learn uh, to reflect on a multi-layer level that is directing us anyway. But so we learn to dialogue to, with it, to understand more and even find ways to inspire uh, this myth in the background more. This is, this is the outcome of it. So when you spoke about the past, present, and future, both on the professional front and the uh, personal front, uh, the images that I had had nothing to do with me as a child or how I was a few years back or now. It was different things. And uh, on the professional front also, again, it had nothing to do with me. I, I, uh, my image when it said past on a professional front, I thought of a small fish looking into a tongue. And uh, on my profession, I mean, on my personal front, I thought of things like different forms of chocolate desserts. So, what yeah. does this mean? Uh, it's your image, and this is why it has always to do something with you. But we do not; we, we may not be able to decode it quickly. But uh, uh, in dream analysis, in Jungian psychology, they divide be between. Um, subjective level and objective level. You know, you may know subjective level for, from Gestalt dream work. Uh, so, uh, say suppose that whatever com uh, uh, shows up in your dream is a part of your soul, otherwise you wouldn't have dreamed it, even if you find it very strange. If you find it very strange, then it's a part of yourself you are not yet very familiar with. So it's worthwhile then to dialogue more with that part because this is a part that might want to be integrated. And in dream analysis, whatever it irritates you and brings anxiety in dreams needs to be detected and integrated because it's a part that is uh, be putting away in, in the dark. And when it comes out of the dark, it might be at first appear in its non very much development forms, developed forms, but when you encounter it, it develops and it can be integrated. So Jungian psychology is a psychology for integration and especially what they call <coughs> shadow integration. And certainly it's a, uh, you can look at the same dream or the same image from the perspective, what is uh, this image, if it's where an object, not only a projection of myself, 
what do we know about these kinds of objects? Because we have a cultural no knowledge. For example, for brown cakes, is there, <laughs> is, there, is there a collective knowledge about brown cakes that you didn't know? And when you then exchange, she had a brown cake in, in her image. And when uh, and we, uh, you use this as um, as a method to learn to understand cultural symbols. So what is a brown cake? A thing. What what thing is that? And you learn to to discuss the symbolic meaning of things in our culture. And you, most people detect that they have much more knowledge inside as they ever believed, and that can be explained from. Uh, their learning process of their biography. Jung supposed there is a collective unconscious. And if you learn to dialogue with the collective unconscious, you can dialogue with the wisdom uh, of your species, species. But you have, must learn a specific kind of dialogue with that. And today we have, with the epigenetic research, we have a model uh, that explained to us what Jung supposed that uh, there is a, mem a collective memory that we inherit by the DNA. And um, today, in some respects, it can prove that there's memory that uh, brings up experiences from our parents by genetic heritage. And that's uh, epigenetic studies. I don't know whether you are familiar with it. So anyway. If you are interested in knowing more and understanding more levels, how meaning in your life is created, even whether you uh, take it in account uh, consciously or not, then it's interesting to learn these kind of dialogues. But you are not on a safe floor with that. That's, that's a very slippery floor. But you can learn to dance on a slippery floor. Close it. Yeah. So another day, second day is over. So thanks for being with us. And uh, I purposefully um, asked Bern to talk about theater metaphor for tomorrow. The reason is that it's one of the topics which has inspired me the most. <coughs> and someone asked how to train your intuition. The theta metaphor has been very helpful in getting insight from inside, from, for me particularly. Uh, in one of the topics in my book, uh, in the Tamil book which I have written, when I spoke about anger, I wrote it as though that anger is talking about itself, like I made anger as a character, which was very interesting for people and how I got that is, a theater metaphor, I was saying, if anger has to talk about itself, then what it will be talking about. So by then I have learned that method from Bern, and I was thinking, maybe tomorrow morning, when he presents, having some more time to understand it will be very important. That's the reason I, I was too, um, uh, having an urge to say, not to finish that in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I will present the basic ideas and you share your experience. Okay. <laughs> it's your space. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but yes, certainly I can uh, Maybe how I use it. It's fresher within you because I developed the theater metaphor for at least 20 years ago. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe now I'm playing the stage with that metaphor. That's OK. Yeah. So certainly uh, that will be very useful. And uh, uh, so that's the reason. So we meet tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So be available here by 8.55, five minutes earlier. And then we have a lot of interesting things to do tomorrow. We will make it interesting. Thank you. Thank you.